Hey, what's up guys? It's Arm Malieri, and today I have a new video for you. I uh, picked up the iPad camera connection kit and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and show you what it's got and also a really cool use for it. Um, I have the brand new uh, iPad 3 uh, Retina Ready latest generation iPad there. Uh, it has a beefed up camera so I'm going to be uh, using that a little bit more to shoot video and I figured uh, one of the coolest features of having an iPad is that you can use the uh, Blue Yeti microphone uh, through the camera connection kit to record your audio. So usually when I'm, well, always I'm using my iDevices to uh, record video, but uh, until now I've been limited to using either the built-in mic or the iRig mic, um, which the iRig mic is great for a portable solution, but for home-based audio, um, you know, as you can see, obviously, there is no competition between the Blue Yeti uh, and the Rode Podcaster mic that I have uh, with the iRig. So right now this audio is on the iRig, but um, hopefully going forward when I'm shooting with the iPad 3, I'm going to be using either the Podcaster from Rode or the Blue Yeti. Now I know the Yeti has been confirmed to work with that camera connection kit, but I'm not sure about the Podcaster, so um, I'm going to give it a shot and then uh, I'll let you guys know if I also get it working with the Podcaster. Um, anyway, maybe I'll do like a live test of the Podcaster too, we'll see. So getting into the camera connection kit, you open it up, uh, you get the uh, little instruction manuals, uh, the warranty, stuff nobody cares about. You get into the good stuff, and so that's pretty much it. It's just a box with two little pamphlets, and then you've got the, the connection kit. So uh, as far as I can remember, one of them comes with like an SD card slot, which is that one there, and then the other one is a USB slot, and this is the one that I really need. The SD card is pretty neat too because, you know, I'll be able to just take pictures right off of SD when I'm out and about. Uh, I got a buddy that has a DSLR that shoots a lot of photos, so uh, it's going to come in handy. So, But for today's test, we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Oh, no need to rip it. It just has a flap in the back. And you can just pull it open and pull out your uh, connection kit, whichever one you might want. Again, a 30-pin dock connector on this side, and then just a regular SD card reader on that side. I'll put that back in the bag since I'm not going to be using that right now. And then this is the star of the show. This is the one that I need. Go ahead and flip that open. And here we go. So we have here the USB portion of the um, iPad camera connection kit. Now this whole kit can be purchased for $29. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to where you can pick it up in the description if you'd like to check it out. But uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So I should be able to just pop this off. Connect it to the iPad's dock. It should be just simple and easy, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and take the, um, the USB connection from the Yeti. You can see that it has no power indicator. This will usually light up red if there was power. And all we have to do is just plug it in. Now there, um, And it should light up. Yep, you can see that it lit up there. And what does it say here? Cannot use device. The connected USB device requires too much power. Oh, okay. So sometimes uh, because of the amount of draw of the Yeti, uh, you require uh, like a powered USB hub. Um, so I have one of those. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and um, show you guys if we get that same message. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. Even though we are getting power here, uh, you can see on the Yeti that we are getting a red power indicator. But... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the hub and see what happens. Stick around. Hey guys, I'm back and I have everything figured out. So the Yeti was pulling too much power on its own and we need to get a USB, a powered USB hub to make everything work. Uh, so what I did is I got my powered USB hub, plugged it into the wall, and then the uplink from the USB hub is going into the iPad camera connection kit. And then the output from the Yeti is going into the USB hub. So once you have that all configured, all you got to do is plug it in to your iPad, and then the Yeti should power up, which it does, and audio uh, will now be routed through the uh, Blue Yeti when you're recording with your iPad. So a uh, pretty cool example. I'm going to show you how that looks and works out on the uh, Blue Fire app. 
This is an app uh, from Blue Microphones. Uh, it's called Blue Fire. And uh, you can see that it's picking up audio from the Yeti. I'm going to tap on the Yeti so you can see. And then I'll tap on the uh, internal mic so you can see as well. So yeah, there we have it guys, uh, recording through the um, Blue Yeti microphone onto my uh, iPad 3, next gen, iPad HD, the new iPad, whatever you want to call it. But basically it opens up a world of much better audio for you for uh, audio and video production. We now have the uh, beefed up uh, 5 megapixel 1080p uh, camera, so if you're doing your video, whatever you're recording, uh, you're going to be able to get some excellent audio out of it. Uh, through the Blue Yeti and the um, Apple Camera Connection Kit. So again, I'll give you a peek at it. It's just this guy right here. You can pick it up for $30. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for you. It comes with the uh, USB plug and the SD card plug. So uh, besides the fact that you can use it for uh, audio purposes uh, with the iPad, you can also use it for um, plugging in SD cards and uploading pictures and or plugging cameras directly into your iPad. So it's a great buy, guys. Uh, let me know if you have comments or questions on the whole thing uh, in the section below. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe as it helps me make videos for you guys. And um, until next time, this is Armalieri. Thanks for watching. Peace.